All right, season three recap. Oh, there's no recap. Chapter one, after all these years. Welcome to Republic oh, here's City. Recap. Take a stroll through beautiful Avatar Korra Park. We've missed cool. her these past three She gets years, a statue too. Can't wait to welcome her home. Oh, Get three well years. Soon, Korra. She's still not well. Yes, sirree, this town is truly on the up and up. What could go wrong? Everything's so great. Except for Korra. Korra's sick. That's sad. Three years is a long time. The gap between season two and season three was like five seconds. So I'm sure a lot has transpired after the events of season three. It's cool to see the Air Nomads doing their thing, like traveling the world. They're like the new avatars as a group. She brought our old central terminal into the modern era. The world is entering a new age of peace and prosperity. Soon Prince Wu will take his rightful place on the Earth Kingdom throne. There's so much to take in here already. First of all, Asami looks so beautiful and adult. Secondly, Jinora's hair grew back, which is great. I'm a big fan of Jinora's hair. <laughs> it came out sounding really weird, but okay. And then uh, this guy, who just seems like a totally down-to-earth and reasonable human being, who, unlike his mother and grandfather, will be a phenomenal level-headed ruler, I'm sure. Let's take a look at the family. Milo hasn't changed very much, but he has also grown hair. Iki looking great. Oh, the little kid! Uh, damn, I forgot. Rohan, right? Rohan has cool hair as well. I see that they're bringing back emphasis on hair this season, which, beautiful, I love it. That's what I really want. Character development, eh. Inspiring themes, no thanks. Character hair changes. And thanks to our updated rail system, Republic City and the Earth Kingdom will be united like never before. Cool. Globalization. Don't let my reputation intimidate you. I'm still human just like everyone else. Only more human. <laughs> like extra human. Right. Just like every other show human. show you a low-key night out with a superhuman soon-to-be king. <laughs> this guy's whole body is just gyrating. It's good to see you, Mako. It's been too long. You hear from Bolin lately? I haven't talked to him for a while, but no. he's coming in a few days for the coronation. No. And Beifong told me that Korra is getting in tonight. Even though it's realistic, it bothers me in shows when there's like a time gap and you learn they haven't been spending time together. It like shatters like this beautiful image I have of like, we're always friends and we're always together. Anyone else feel that way? It's like, you guys are so cool and you have it so good and you should stay together. But yeah, that's true of real life too. I spend so much time separated from people I care about. It's just how it is. You gotta follow your dreams. It's gonna be weird having the old team avatar back in the city after all these years. It's gonna be great. Are we all positive that the Earth Kingdom is safe enough for me to return? I don't have to remind everyone what happened to my great aunt three years ago. Subtle. Kuvira has the Earth Kingdom pretty much stabilized mm. at this point. Well, the roving bandits have mostly been dispersed. Mostly? Okay, so Kuvira, who we were introduced to last season, and who apparently was there the whole time, I just didn't notice, was in charge of rebuilding or re-securing the Earth Kingdom. We can only guess what she's been up to for three years behind the scenes. I know I shouldn't I shouldn't know this, right? Like, I shouldn't know she's the villain, but they, like, kind of telegraphed it in the show with that sinister music when they introduced her. The Jeep's return. <laughs> we don't have anything left. Now you don't have anything left. They have superhero suits. Hell yeah. Nice. Those are awesome costumes. This is incredible. The airbenders are here. You finally made it. There are hundreds more where they came from. My citizens are going hungry. Our entire state is on the brink of collapse. Where all you have? Classic superhero dilemma too. And also life dilemma. Help is a really difficult thing because giving assistance to someone in need is admirable, but in many ways it's limited too because there can't be someone to save you all the time. The solution to their problem is not having the air society protect them forever. And if you start to help people, people come to expect it and then they resent you for your shortcomings. And it's hard to walk into that time and time again. This guy is super ungrateful even though, you know, Kai and Opal just saved someone. We just got some good news. Looking good, looking good. We're 90% there, Kuvira. That's great! Yeah! <laughs> I won't celebrate until the Earth Kingdom is 100% reunited. There are rocks on the tracks. It's most likely bandits. We're sending troops to handle the situation. I will take care of the bandits myself. Cool. We get a demonstration of Kuvira's powers and also her resolve. <laughs> Pretty cool. You're Kuvira. And you're the bandits who have been causing chaos where I am trying to establish order. I'm going to give you all the opportunity to rehabilitate yourselves. Or you get run over by this train. <laughs> Tough choice. Tough choice. We pledge our loyalty to you, Great Uniter. 
create uniter. Interesting strategy. Very anti Zaheer. See, the pendulum. The pendulum swings. We went to extreme chaos, now we're going back to extreme order. So while your hands soak in a bubbling milk bath, your feet are in a tub full of these little sucker fish that literally eat your calluses away. Gobble them right up! I did the fish thing in Thailand. It's really weird. Mako, look at all my fans! They must be in town for my coronation. <laughs> fans. <laughs> I mean, give this guy credit for having thick skin. And who are these shady characters? Go, go. All right. I think those were Kavira supporters in the crowd. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there. You would have been hit by a pie. <laughs> Look, a train made it through. Maybe they brought food and supplies. They brought power. What's your boyfriend doing here? If he's here, he must be with Kavira and my brother. This isn't going to be good. What's up with your new hair? You look like a stick. Kuvira says it good. makes me look intelligent and professional. Yeah. I missed you so much. All right, so I'm a little bit confused. There's obviously some tension between Kuvira and her group and the prince. I'm not sure why that is, because it seems like Kuvira is uniting the Earth Kingdom. But let's see. I've heard how you help towns by conquering them. I am giving everyone in this nation a better future. And with Bolin's help and my fiance's ideas, we're laying the groundwork for the people to mm. achieve their own greatness. Your fiance? Right? <laughs> Way to drop that subtly in the conversation. Or not so subtly. You want to take everything. How is that generous? Agree to the terms and you'll have the full force of my army backing you. I will save your life and the lives of your citizens. Interesting. So she's her own authority in a sense? Is she just a mercenary force, basically, that is going around uniting these small areas? This is another one of those cases where I realized the creators were more conscious of what they were doing than I thought. Like last season when Zaheer was disrupting everything, I said that'll create a power vacuum that will be filled by someone else, and it seems like that's being filled by Kuvira. And she strikes a hard bargain. But what is the Earth Prince doing? I guess nothing? I guess spa days is the answer. That was reasonable. I'll never turn the great state of Yai over to you. You will perish unless you take my generous offer. Sounds like she's directly threatening. Bandits are not the only threat, I guess. Please, you can't turn your back on these people. I'm not. I want to help, but if the governor wants us gone, there's, there's nothing I can do. Leave if that's what you're going to do. You got to keep these things separate from your relationship. You know, we might not need their help after all. We can use Lefty to fly to all the nearby villages, pick up supplies, and fly back. You're right. We can save this town ourselves. That's the spirit. Every little bit helps. Because of you and the other farmers around here, we have more than enough food to feed the town until we can get some reinforcements. I love this Kai Opal tag team. You and Bolin doing okay? I don't know. It's really tough having a long-distance relationship. Tell me about it. <laughs> Speaking of long-distance relationships... How are you and Janora doing? Actually, we're doing fine. You hear that? It's more bandits! Plane bandits? Wow, that's advanced. No! no! Release your earthly tether! Release your earthly tether! <laughs> so cool. They lost the supplies though. That sucks. Ouch. Sorry. We lost everything. It might be time to make a tough call. For what it's worth, I think you made the right decision. Did I ever really have a choice? Mm -hmm. I think I said it in the season three finale. It's like, you know, if you want to talk about being free, you can't even think about your own individual state and improving yourself and being a realized human being if you're not eating. And it does take a certain amount of order in order to accomplish that. Like, you need to have structures in place to protect, like, the most basic things. But <laughs> Zaheer, like accidentally made things so much worse because he just destroyed the entire structure, leaving them vulnerable to even worse structures to replace them. I feel for the governor because you can tell he really is thinking about it carefully and he really wants the best for his people. And he sees the risks, but, you know, as he said, what choice do you have in that situation? And also, can you make that choice for everybody in the whole town? I bet she's not even going to know who I am. Why is that? Because Milo the boy has turned into Milo the man. Awesome. I love the Sailor Moon transformation sequence. You've never had the tea leaf wrap? You have no idea what you're missing. <laughs> this guy. And this is tricky too, you know, because now Kuvira and her group are, are making these people so happy. They're going to remember that. And the way people are, once someone does something that emotionally resonates with you, one way or the other, for good or for bad, it becomes a little bit harder to see things more clearly. 
see their actions more clearly. So if this is what she's doing throughout the kingdom, this is going to give her a lot of support and they may be willing to overlook some of the more negative aspects of it. I mean, I would feel the same way if people were giving me mech warriors. The state of Yai is now under the full protection of my army. Right. Proclaim your loyalty. That just adds insult to injury. You gotta separate. Separate your relationship from this political thing. <laughs> Naga! And Kor's dad, I forgot his name. Tonrock? Tonrock. It's good to Sorry. have you back in the city. And everyone is excited to see the Avatar again. Isn't Korra already here? No, Korra left the South Pole six months ago. She's written me letters. What? She said she was here in Republic City. What the hell? Then where is she? She's disappeared for six months? Is she fighting in the Earth Arena? Toph's Earth Arena? Or something like it? Is that all you got? I love her hair, by the way. Gotta say. Hmm, interesting. So she's not back in her peak physical condition, or bending condition, after three years, no less. Here, for your lackluster participation. Ouch. Do they know who she is? You look very familiar. No. You kind of look like that Avatar girl. Whatever happened to her anyway? I wouldn't know. Man. Well, that was short, as they tend to be these days. So Korra not in good shape, in more ways than one. Emotionally and physically. It took a big toll on her. But it's cool to see that the rest of the, the crew, or the group, has stepped up and is doing what they need to do, or doing as much as they can at least. And yeah, it seems like this season really is picking up right where the last one left off. Even though three years have passed, in terms of issues and themes, this seems like a very logical and next iteration of society after Zaheer and the effects of the chaos in Ba Sing Se. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the season has to offer. I can already feel it's gonna bring great things again. Thank you guys for tuning in for the beginning of season four. I'll see you very soon for episode two.